hello everyone this video is continuation of the previous video and uh, today we will continue from where we left off now today we will take a look at uh, textures now these tabs are extension to the material and the first one is uh, texture and uh, these are the texture slots you will have in the material so in this you have four uh, slots and here you can place images and uh, reflective materials or uh, video materials so to do that come to texture pool by here or in windows by clicking here or pressing f2 now these are textures available for materials so first we will use image so click on it and let's go to x drive there it is and uh, there you will find some default textures provided by work 3d and you can also use your own i will use uh, something like arrow map and uh, this yellow one or uh, if, if i place it in the texture panel or uh, texture slot it will apply to the material now we can change its blending mode just like uh, photoshop so if i multiply it will be multiplied by the color we have chosen here we can also add and uh, it will be added just like photoshop if you know photoshop you will understand better and uh, these are the multiple options if you scroll up and down you can see if you click on the button here and uh, scroll the types will cycle through and this is the texture type so if i right click on it and uh, see these are different uh, types so this is texture opacity refraction gradient refraction so if i choose texture and uh, apply it will apply texture part of object and if i uh, choose the blending mode for it uh, like average it will blend the color but if i choose opacity and uh, now it will be transparent if uh, uh, the texture we have used has alpha channel on it if it doesn't we can also change the channel so if i scroll it here and press l it will change to luminance and uh, now it uh, will affect the object so you can see a little bit is visible from the object and if i create normal it will not do anything because it's in the opacity node so come back to alpha and uh, i think this is not the best uh, object to show all of these options so i will also create uh, a plane and uh, change the size of it 600 also and bring it forward so that it shadows the object and uh, now if i apply the material here if i change it to luminance you can see it's now transparent and uh, see through so i will change it back and uh, you can also add uh, some other texture to it uh, like uh, the photo and stuff if i could select a flag you can also apply the flag here and now uh, let me delete the standard object so we can delete it because it's applied to the cylinder so let me delete the cylinder first and uh, come back and delete the material now if we duplicate the rectangle and uh, bring it down and uh, apply the uniform material to it so you can see the difference between standard and uniform and this is the color and uh, we will choose red for it or any other color and if i apply the same texture to this material you can see this is shinier and this is flat because this is uniform and uh, it uh, does not respond to the light if i go back to the object you can see that if i change the standard shininess the shine goes away from the 3d objects as well and uh, standard materials as well now if i want to bring back the shininess i can apply it here and it will uh, respond accordingly i can change the shine color from here and uh, if i want to make it transparent from here and do this so if i make it completely transparent but you can see we can still see the texture on it to make it transparent we also have to reduce the opacity of the texture so if i do this and uh, since it is applied to both of the material it is affecting both of it either you can change the opacity from here 
or you can select and change the opacity from here. Both works the same. So if you want to use the full opacity in it for the same texture, you have to create a copy or a clone, apply second clone to the uniform material or other one. And now these are separate uh, textures and uh, apply to the separate materials. So they will act as a separate entity. If I make it completely transparent in it and uh, the uniform one and uh, it has opacity of 255 so, so it is opaque because this opacity is the value of the diffusion so if I make it 100 now it is transparent and uh, if I make it opaque now it is not so they both work uh, simultaneously and uh, uh, you have to understand that this will affect this texture and uh, if I apply the other texture and if I apply the texture in the second slot it will uh, be placed on top of it and uh, even if I reduce the Indian flag it will not show because it is overlaid by this and we can also uh, multiply and uh, adjust the blending mode so we can add or we can increase the value of it we can also subtract it and just like photoshop we can scroll through and see the variations of the blending mode and choose what we like best so i will remove it and uh, if you click on uh, the texture here it will select the texture on the texture tool it is highlighted if i highlight it and uh, click again it will change to this and uh, we can change the texture offset and other properties from here this is scale this is offset and the behavior of the offset texture wrapping we can change it from here it is set to clamp so if i scroll through it or right click on it this is these are the options so if i choose border it will be clamped from uh, left to right you can see it is clamped I can scale it down so you can see it better now if I scale down even this and make it a border it will be clamped from the top and bottom as well and uh, if I make it uh, mirror it will be mirrored and uh, get mirror it will be mirrored so this is texture tiling and uh, you can change it accordingly and uh, any point of time if you want if you want to reset the value uh, just right click on the arrows will reset the uh, particular value and uh, right click make it clamp again now i think uh, this is uh, enough for the video and uh, we will see video dds and uh, other options in coming videos we will also see the mat and uh, chroma in upcoming videos stay tuned and uh, subscribe thank you Thank you.